All right, so let's get started. This session uh, we focus on horoscope or astrology as the topic of our conversation. And uh, let's focus on question number one. Let me see. Okay, the question says, uh, argue for and against this uh, statement. Do you think you can modify your zodiac related characteristics? Uh, I want Fatima to answer this question, and uh, I think it is clear enough. Yes. Um. Mm -hmm. mm. I sent my view about this question in the website mm -hmm. and uh, yes I think uh, we can modify our characteristics and uh, mm, and uh, I'm not sure about the zo zo zodiac 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 mm -hmm. uh, uh, characteristics about people because uh, there are some general uh, characteristics but uh, we have some specific uh, personality and uh, because of different conditions uh, we are specific and uh, so uh, <clears throat> and I think we can modify our personality uh, we can reduce the negative sides and uh, empower the positive ones and mm -hmm. So you mean that your zodiac uh, related characteristics cannot be fixed and unchangeable? Yes, uh, we can change it, uh, especially the negative ones. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Zohra, uh, what do you think about that? Uh, really, uh, uh, actually, I don't believe uh, these uh, zodiac create uh, uh, related characteristics. Uh, but mm -hmm. even if uh, we persuade that we are born with this, mm -hmm. uh, change is everything to uh, human, you know. And uh, we created, uh, we uh, created by our environment and conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we change uh, our uh, our traits, our uh, qualified uh, by uh, condition over the time, not based on our uh, zodiac related characteristics. Characteristics. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. So you mean um, that actually your uh, your horoscope uh, information does not have any influence on you? Do you reject it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, this must uh, come first. Uh, Fatima, what about you? Do you reject horoscope or astrology? No. Mm. Uh, I can reject it because, for example, uh, I am born. I can't. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, because mm -hmm. <laughs> I am born in a uh, uh, scale. Or was scale born. Months. Yes, scale. I was born. Yes, Ribelar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Libra, I think. Libra. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. Uh, for example, uh, <coughs> one of the most important. Uh, mm -hmm. characteristics of these months, these mm -hmm. uh, zodiac uh, yes. characteristics is the, mm -hmm. the justic uh -huh. to be justic yes, yeah, just justice and to be justic yeah, justice sen sensitive sensitive to justice balance. Yeah. yeah, and balance mm -hmm. mm, I don't know, maybe uh, it's, uh, it's related to all people I'm not sure, but uh, one of my personalities is uh, that I'm very uh, I emphasize on this uh, mm, mm, mm -hmm. characteristics and um, for example, uh, people say uh, our family said uh, say that uh, I have uh, such personality mm, 
mm-hmm. or to be logical or or uh, I I think uh, some t- uh, um, I'm uh, influenced by such characteristics. Mm-hmm. I can't well, say that I'm I'm not influenced uh, with such definition. I can't mm-hmm. say that. I'm not sure, but to say it exactly that I uh, I believe in such uh, mm-hmm. <coughs> ideas. Yeah. First of all, uh, uh, I should say that uh, believing in horoscope or astrology uh, is not uh, synonymous with superstition. There are some, uh, let's say, scientific proofs about that. And uh, particularly when we are, uh, we uh, we were embryos in our mother's mother's womb. Uh, you know, we were at that time very susceptible and easily influenced by the environment, particularly electromagnetic, uh, let's say, um, energy or circuits of energy around us, and uh, you know uh, those. Uh, let's say crucial environment at that time can uh, impact our personality characteristics and personality traits and because actually uh, the first part of our essence or genesis is nervous system Um, this is the first part of development um, that happens to any human and because of that, uh, you know, uh, the period of time uh, where you are born, you know, uh, has some effects on your personality. Uh, uh, but I believe that it's not fixed, as Fatima also agreed. Um, you can change. You can change whatever uh, of personality, whatever of characteristic predisposition that you really uh, desire to so according to Napoleon Hill uh, whatever mind can uh, believe and uh, conceive it can achieve or receive you know so it all depends on our perspective so it's not superstition hi. Yeah. hi sorry I was disconnected oh, that's okay no problem um Okay, and also, uh, let me see. Hold on. Uh, You said in the website, I think uh, I can perform some error correction. Uh, Preposition for website is on, so it's better to say on the website. And uh, also specific, uh, uh, let's say stress is on the specific, the third syllable. Okay, so far so good. Do you have any uh, anything to add in response to the first question? Uh, mean no. Okay, let's uh, continue with our journey. Question number two. Uh, let me see. Okay, question number two, photo is scanning. It refers to the photo here. The lady is embracing whatever the palm reader tells her. Uh, embrace means accept. So uh, on the basis of the photo, uh, Zoreb, uh, do, you, do you agree or disagree? And then actually please, please provide us with some details based on the photo. Uh. I don't think so. I'm. I do, don't agree mm-hmm. with uh, this. Uh, I don't In want your opinion about palm reading. I just want your opinion about the photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, in uh, uh, actually, in order to. Mm-hmm. In order to read photo, we should mm-hmm. pay attention to three elements. Mm-hmm. First, yes. palm reader. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, also, his smart clothes and a uh, and his age show mm-hmm. that he's reliable. Mm-hmm. Uh, his body language, such as his head, right mm-hmm. hand, and his position, tries to approach woman, lady, 
-hmm. as well as his uh, facial expression, especially his eyes and chin, uh, mm -hmm. says he afford to persuade her. Yes. Good, uh, good second, mm -hmm. as ladies about ladies, her position sit. Mm -hmm. The, uh, just sitting on the uh, mm -hmm. lady, lady mm -hmm. uh, sitting on the uh, sofa formally, and uh, her hands display hesitation. Also, we can mm -hmm. see curiosity on her face. Mm -hmm. Last curiosity. but not least, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, uh, he uh, curiosity. Uh, pardon yes. me. Curiosity. Ah, thanks. Okay. Uh, last but not the least point is about background or a uh, decoration of room. Mm -hmm. uh, ready sofa and curtains expose excitement. Old uh, brown walls and uh, black mm -hmm. iron bar imply mystery. Eventually, mm -hmm. existence of just a light cream cushion among uh, relatively violet colors stuff signals there is some uh, true among uh, uh, many something else can be uh, lies but express in a in a mystery in a mystery manner mysterious. that's why i think mm -hmm. mysterious manner yeah mm -hmm. uh, that's why i think women just listen to a palm reader uh, so you mean that actually she's just listening to the palm reader but she does not just buy or accept whatever he says yeah yeah maybe uh, based on uh, curiosity mm -hmm. not accept everything a palm reader say to her mm -hmm. well i have an opposing idea but uh, first let's uh, thank you very much uh, Zohre and now let's listen to Fatima Fatima what do you think do you think that uh, she's uh, really just uh, embracing or absorbing uh, what he is telling her or as Zohre said uh, she's just curious and uh, she does not buy that I think uh, the man is uh, telling uh, her about some good news mm -hmm. and the lady is accepting how can you prove it how can you prove that because he's talking about something positive <laughs> because the lady uh -huh. Because of face of the the lady, uh -huh. uh, because uh, it, uh, she has a smile, mm -hmm. and uh, she's satisfied. She, yeah, and she wanted mm -hmm. to uh, have to demand to continue about the that sentences. Mm -hmm. I think, and uh, okay, also uh, the man the man is uh, telling uh, telling the news uh, to persuade the lady mm -hmm. to listen to her to him and mm -hmm. continue and make her interested in palm reading good point and uh, what about the main question do you think that uh, she's accepting what he's telling her i think uh, she's uh, she's um, going to pers uh, per to be persuaded uh -huh, so uh, yeah Mm -hmm. So actually, uh, the palm reader must be a very successful businessman to just uh, make her uh, believe uh, in what he's telling her. So, yeah. uh, as and a general I, rule, yes. yes. And I think uh, such people uh, are have some sense of psychology. Uh, they see their the participants and try to um, part to persuade them to continue to coming with uh, to them. So mm -hmm. they uh, they see uh, the participants' uh, reactions and uh, activities and uh, behaviors uh, mm -hmm. to uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I think she got disconnected, but uh, from what she said, I can come to this conclusion that she was trying to say that he, the palm reader, must have a magnetic personality. Uh, that is to say, he tries to, he is really successful at uh, 
drawing the attention of others and overwhelming them and uh, influencing them okay uh, thank you thank you so much do you have any other points to add in reference to the photo anybody Zohre or Fatima no no okay so it's clear all right so let's focus on question number three let me see Question number three from Fatima: Have you, uh, hold on. Okay, uh, have you ever correctly guessed the zodiac or birth month of people based on the information that you have about a horoscope? That is a good question. Uh, it means that actually you do not know a person and you just uh, analyze their characteristics and then you can come up with the conclusion that actually he or she must have been uh, born in that particular period well uh, Zohre since you are the only participant except Fatima so you should answer this okay I never did it before I uh, did some uh, casual reading about horoscope uh, on the internet Mm -hmm. and figured out uh, uh, those consist a wide range of both negative and positive qualities for everyone even if we know about those well we couldn't say something accurately i guess it's possible but accident not based on exa exact information or a, a certain way uh, mm -hmm. For instance, it um, it was mentioned women who who uh, who were born in September is usually fat and hate mm -hmm. being alone. It's not true at all about me and other is uh, and there is uh, many other uh, co um, counter examples. Mm -hmm. so, so were you uh, born in September? Yeah. Okay, congratulations. I, <laughs> so we are in September. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, I really wish you uh, a happy life ahead. And well, that's the only thing I can just wish for you. You know, uh, I, I just got the news so late. Anyway, Thanks congratulations. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, yes, please go on. So, how we can uh, guess correctly according to this database? Um, well, uh, it's very difficult. And first of all, you, you, you should be completely familiar with the zodiac characteristics in all 12 signs, you know, in order to make a wise guess. Otherwise, you couldn't make a, let's say, wise and uh, judicious guess and not all people are familiar with all of their characteristics all of the zodiac uh, characteristics and it's uh, it's very complicated you know so uh, the other way around uh, just regarding this issue from another from the opposite perspective it's it is more feasible it is more let's say doable or workable you know if you know the zodiac real uh, let's say um, a sign of one's birth and then you can come to the conclusion that for example this person must have some particular characteristics and usually uh, as far as I know uh, girls and ladies are more let's say uh, sensitive to that particularly when it comes to marriage when they want to get married uh, they really like to know the zodiac uh, and horoscope characteristics and information of their fiancés you know in order to have some basic information and in order to guess uh, the personality because they are more influenced in my idea as far as I know but well, it, uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't influence their decision no I, I ask you not to just look at it from either black or white you know there are more colors a lot of colors between these two colors these two extremes uh, you know uh, I, I was born let's say in cancer or crab 
according to the sign uh, during tir in our calendar and uh, to be honest when I uh, just studied the uh, characteristics of the people born in this month uh, I noticed that almost around 80 percent 80 and that is really high 80 percent of the characteristics are shared with me and this is really astonishing you know and uh, for example I'm a sensitive person I pay a lot of attention to the details I really love my mother she unfortunately passed away three years ago and uh, I really like blue sky uh, I, I really like clarity and uh, so all of them actually are my uh, marked personality traits yeah, but uh, those that you see are uh, common between other people. Most of us uh, have such we, uh, characteristics. Most of all, uh, love um, uh, mom, especially uh, boys, you know, is uh, belong of uh, our culture. Yeah, my uh, relationship with my mother was really unique. Everybody knows about that. Uh, those who know me, you know. And uh, <laughs> anyway, but I know um, one person that uh, that is born mm -hmm. uh, in that month, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, does not uh, have um, good relationship with uh, her mm -hmm. mother. Well, uh, one swallow does not make the summer. You know, you cannot generalize uh, one exception to all cases. You know, there are exceptions and uh, well, some of the characteristics of uh, even actually those who are born in cancer I do not have you know I can admit it yes uh, yeah. but I think the, uh, mm -hmm. the the horoscope is not based on science yeah that is good point <laughs> So, uh, uh, what I what is it based on? But if it is yes, not based on science. Yes, uh, you're right. But uh, we cannot totally mm, ignore it because uh, mm -hmm. there is enough knowledge and mm, scientific facts, scientific evidence mm -hmm. to disprove it. Uh, but at the same time, we cannot uh, say, mm, say that it's uh, scientific based. So, do you think that it is uh, mixed with superstition? Yes, to some extent. Uh huh. Okay. Well, uh, I believe that it is not superstition, uh, or categorized according to superstition or superstitious beliefs. I think that we are in a in a world that is completely and let's say uh, hugely mysterious, and our science has not been able to uncover all of the mysteries. And we need to just uh, advance our knowledge in order to just give some justification to the things that we these days call superstition. And uh, because our uh, level of uh, the level of our knowledge is limited and limited to this specific time and place. Uh, yeah, this is my idea about horoscope. I'm, I, I, I believe in that. I, do, I don't want to say that it's completely, let's say, influential or substantial, but I think that it has some effects. And almost if, I, uh, if I'm asked to just give you some st statistics, I would say they're around 60, 55, 60 percent. Uh, it is accurate to some extent. Uh, sorry, do you believe in Let's continue. Hi? Question question number four uh, from Mandana, who is not here. Uh, it says the word horoscope is derived from Greek word hora and uh, scopus, meaning uh, time and observer. That's good uh, point, good information. According to the above sentence, I think they strongly believed that uh, each event impresses by the time that event uh, occurred. What's your idea? 
Well, Father Man, could you please answer this question? <clears throat> uh, I don't. I didn't get about this question uh, about time because no, horoscope mm -hmm. is about time and um, about the, the time of birth. Mm -hmm. I think. Yes. Uh, so. So uh, the ones that believe in this, um, so believe in time, and it, and say that uh, the time of the mm -hmm. birth can have some effects on that per on that person. Mm, yeah, as a matter of fact, I found it uh, ambiguous too. So uh, and she's not here to clarify the question. So do you? Uh, uh, do you believe that because we, you need to just respond to the question do you believe that um, for example um, uh, a baby is born and he or she for example is born in uh, for example a scale or Lib Libra I don't know uh, do you think that uh, depending on the time of birth of a person he or she must bear some particular characteristics maybe uh, because uh, uh, because uh, uh, I also uh, it have some effects on us mm -hmm. and uh, maybe it refers to our interpretation we interpret uh, because the uh, mm -hmm. uh, that baby is born in that month and we uh, expect that that uh, baby have such personality well, because be uh, honest, there are some uh, general mm -hmm. there are some general uh, characteristics and uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, it is rely on our interpretation well, it relies on your interpretation and uh, to be honest I, I think you are uh, so exceptional uh, both of you ladies uh, because I, I, as far as I know Iranians particularly Iranian ladies uh, to some extent have faith in horoscope as far as I know uh, but it seems that you <laughs> are exceptions <laughs> um, okay yes this point of view is so positivistic positivistic means uh, when you take a positivistic point of view it means that you just refer to science if something is scientifically proven you accept it if something is scientifically rejected you cannot just uh, approve of it you disapprove it uh, so I admire you because that positivism is I think something that uh, most of the time we lack mm -hmm. because uh, uh, for example I cannot guess the amounts uh, the first amounts of people although I know this uh, 12 uh, mm. signs yeah I know I know them but I cannot guess uh, their first months mm. in 99% Oh, well, so that's... if they are correct, mm -hmm. so uh, why we cannot predict correctly? Yes, because of the fact that, uh, I need to repeat myself, they are not going to determine your personality. They're, they have some effect, you know, some and just not very significant. They have some insignificant effect. Uh, um, you know... Uh, uh, Effects is uh, we couldn't deniable effect because uh, we are a member or uh, elements of the universe. Mm -hmm. Yes, there and are there are many other points. As you said, for example, uh, when you were born, uh, there was war. You know, and you said that you have a taste for peace and peaceful activities. And this is somehow contradictory, but uh, there are many, many different factors involved. For example, uh, the level of nutrition um, the, that, for example, our, your mother was 
receiving at the time of pregnancy and uh, breastfeeding you know everything uh, effects on that it's multifaceted multifaceted it means there are many different factors involved and uh, the ambiguity about this question is this you know uh, i think uh, we uh, if we talk about uh, question four we need uh, to clarify about a uh, time conception exactly yeah oh we we uh, we face with two notions about time absolute time and relative time mm -hmm. uh, example we talk when we talk about uh people who believe in uh faith mm -hmm. oh uh, uh um, they uh, believe uh, some uh, some events happen mm -hmm. in a, a certain or exact time. Yeah. Well, but. Mm -hmm. But. They consider time uh, um, uh, with place, environmental conditions uh, simultaneously. Uh, that occurrence will be happen in every related things already or together. Let me see. Well, let's focus on Vahid. Vahid's question. It says, uh, in your view, can you rely on zodiac related characteristics? Why or why not? Uh, I think it's Zohre's time uh, turn. I, I don't know, but. Uh, all right, Zora, you please. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Oh, definitely not. Uh -huh. This quality is explained based on a uh, astronomical mm, calendar, apart from surroundings or passing the time or some important event that may happen and change a person. For example, a, a, a stubborn person mm -hmm. uh, become uh, passionate and wise during the time by past the time or a selfish girl change to a gracious mom of an of, or an in, uh, innovative person become a drag addiction without uh, with no skills or uh, uh, rely on specific qualities by ignoring many important factors okay good point and even convincing enough uh, well uh, I I know uh, among my relative members actually unfortunately uh, some of them just rejected the cases some cases of marriage because of some beliefs in uh, astrology as you said and uh, horoscope and they said that this man uh, cannot suit me or fit me per, uh, let's say personally because of the fact that he was born in that month to be honest and this is really insane you know that's the only thing I can say about that okay so uh, let's continue question number six from Zohre we all know uh, that there are nonsense right but why are so many of us seduced by our star signs well <laughs> thank you and uh, it's not completely nonsense by the way but anyway Fatima please I don't know uh because uh, maybe because uh, we are very interested in our in ourselves about our future about our mm -hmm. characteristics so we want to know everything about ourselves even if uh, it's they are they may be wrong because we are not sure that they are wrong so mm -hmm. uh, we just uh, read about uh, it to be sure to know to some extent about ourselves for example I don't believe in palm reading, mm -hmm. but if uh, if a palm reader come to me, I wanted to know uh, what uh, he or she said about me, 
Uh, because I think we are very interested in our future. We wanted to know everything, every detail. Uh, <laughs> I, mm -hmm. don't, I don't know. Yeah, that is that was a good answer. And as I said before, I think sometimes we buy some uh, or whatever we are told about because we just want to take a passive role in our life. For example, if the palm reader says me, it says to me that uh, I would become, uh, I would fail in a romantic relationship. And I just buy that idea and maybe in my relationship I do something to actualize what he told me and uh, I would end up having having a failure in my relationship for example and uh, in my marriage for example and I would do something subconsciously automatically uh, to just uh, let's say actualize and realize and make whatever the palm reader told me come true uh, and that is passivity it means that I take a passive role in my life and when yes. when I do not just want to be in charge of my life and to, to, to be actually in control usually I just give my attention, my heat to horoscope, to palm readers, fortune tellers because I don't want to be active I don't want to just build uh, my uh, destiny, uh, shape my future, you know I just want to become passive because it is easier this is my idea exactly, I agree <laughs> yeah, that's uh, uh, because I, I, I thought about the philosophy behind it, the rationale behind it. And I came up with this understanding that those who do not want to be in charge, those who are not critical enough about their future, about their life, about their lifestyle and uh, goals and plans, they just blindly accept uh, whatever they are told, you know about their future, about their, uh, their life, the course of their life, and so on and so forth. So the last question, question number seven from Hamid, who is not here. Uh, what do you think about believing zodiac related characteristics? Is it useful or not? Uh, is it useful or not? This is another point of view about that. And uh, Fatima, I think it's your turn. Do you think that it is useful to accept horoscope? Accepting, maybe not, but uh, knowing mm. about horoscope uh, can be mm, beneficial to some extent. Uh, but uh, please be more specific. What do you mean? Well, in what cases could it be beneficial? For example, uh, because uh, people uh, uh, about these uh, characteristics, about knowing ourselves, when people wanted to know uh, themselves better, it can be very beneficial, mm -hmm. very yeah. helpful, because mm -hmm. they wanted to know themselves, to know better. That's right. Uh, but it, it, it has helped me a lot, you know. Yes, but... Mm, but we cannot rely on horoscope. Mm -hmm. We cannot ha rely on it. Have you ever tried to uh, know a person, if it is not a personal question, uh, one of your close friends, uh, family members, relatives, uh, have you ever tried to just uh, get familiar with him or her based on their horoscope-related characteristics? Yes. About um, all our friends and uh, oh all my, my family members. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. I don't believe in it, but I try to I get <laughs> help of it that to, to be familiar with them much be much more. Well, that is rather contradictory. You don't believe in that, but you just uh, uh, follow yeah. it. <laughs> anyway. Because uh, because I I try to get help of everything. I said mm -hmm. I don't believe in palm reader. Uh -huh. But uh, I listen to them. 
uh, because I have selective view on these uh, these things. I try to know the things that are positive, that are true. Mm -hmm. The ones that I get it when uh, they are true. Yeah, that is uh, a sign of optimism, which means that you just focus yeah. on the positive things. You know, and if there is something negative about you, you just close your eyes to that. <laughs> Anyway. I see, I seek for truth. Mm -hmm. I seek for truth in everything. And uh, the truth uh, is, women are complicated. Yeah, <laughs> women are really complicated, <laughs> for sure. And men but, are but really I think, straightforward. Yes. But I think you don't know women well. Me. Yeah. How can you uh, prove it? <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> I think you said that uh, some some girls reject the uh, marriage because of this. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think so because uh, uh, I don't know anyone that um, re that rejected the system because of this. Well, I just said that because I saw some cases uh, m tangibly, you know. Some of my family members, uh, you know, relatives, I think, they just uh, did that, or they just formed. I some think they images. make. Mm -hmm. I think they make some excuses. Oh well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah uh, it, you know, it did not happen to me. <laughs> don't no. don't take me wrong. You know, I I did not propose to anybody. I just say uh, <laughs> said that. <laughs> that uh, well uh, there they were in love and with somebody else and yeah. they, they just came to this conclusion that maybe actually that person is not a good case for them depending on that yeah. uh, these features anyway okay uh, well uh, in order to participate in our uh, free English conversation classes uh, there are two assignments that should be completed uh, 24 hours before the class that is Tuesdays um, 9 p.m. according to Iran's time zone standard time uh, one is to use the <coughs> blue comment form at the bottom of the page just scroll down to reach the blue comment form at the bottom of the page and uh, create a question about the topic being discussed this is number one and assignment number two is to reply use the reply button press on that and reply to one of the questions uh, from your classmates and you're free to choose you can just take a selective approach and choose one of the questions and reply to them uh, yes that's the only thing the other point is that you don't need to uh, create a, f a free account on LALB Society in order to leave comments. As you can see in this photo, you can just use your social media accounts and log into your social media accounts in order to leave comments and reply. Uh, I, I said it in this way so that uh, strangers could not participate in our uh, comment uh, comments replies and uh, online activities so that we could have privacy uh, that's it